Okay, um, this is video upload number 500, and, um, you know, kind of made me stop and think about, uh, you know, math education, and, you know, this is this is what I do in real life. I, I do tutor, and I used to teach, and I, I kind of got to where I didn't really enjoy teaching anymore, to be honest, um, at least in the classroom setting. I had some fabulous experiences, met some phenomenal people, many of them I'm still in touch with, and... Uh, you know, I never would have encountered those people otherwise. And I think for some of those people, I had a, a positive impact. But um, I also had some very bad experiences teaching that, that ultimately kind of soured me on the experience. So, um, so I'm, you know, this is something that I've been thinking about for a while. So to, to, to my friends out there in the USA, what is, what is wrong and also right with math education in, in our country? Um, and what would you do to fix it? So, you know, there's a, uh, I always get comments. Um, if you're not in the USA, what do you think? You know, a lot of you, definitely a lot of people come to study at universities in America and, uh, you know, I think uh, see, you know, see what we're doing. And certainly I think the university setting and, um, you know, the typical high school, middle school setting is much different. But, um, you know, what are your experiences? So even if you're not from USA, I, I would certainly like to hear what you think. So, you know, some ideas that I have thought about just kicked around. Um, you know, okay, so so a little bit of everything. You know, it, is it just cultural? You know, it's definitely not hip to like math. I understand that. You know, it's fine. I, you know, um, that doesn't hurt my feelings. I'm, I'm a bit of a geek, and I'm proud of it. Um, so I, I don't know if it's simply uncool to to like math because so many people are intimidated by it and it's sort of a safety mechanism. There were definitely times in my life that I, you know, thought I was not good at math. There's definitely tons of people who are way better than I am. Um, so I understand the intimidation factor. So I don't know if it's, if it's, is it just cultural? You know, it's not cool to like math and, and that's a lot of the problem. I don't know. Is it, is it an issue of unqualified teachers? There are certainly people teaching math classes that shouldn't be, um, you know, as in any job. But, you know, I think, um, you know, a lot of the problems with the underqualifications oftentimes is the pay. You know, teachers in USA, at least in middle school and high school, don't get paid what they should. I think they should at least be making, on average, you know, most of them another, you know, uh, something a little more than what they do. It's usually not, I think, a, 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 the best wage in the world. And, you know, if you can go to school and get a math degree or a physics degree, chances are you could easily go into industry or do something where you would make much more than doing math. So, you know, your math teacher that's standing up there that you think just really just must hate teaching and hate being there, Maybe they do now. At one point, they were really there because they wanted to make a difference. Nobody goes into teaching for the money. Nobody, okay? Um, unless you're a top university researcher, and even then, you're, you're doing it just because you like math. So um, is it an issue of just lazy students? Again, which goes back to the cultural thing. Um, you know, I know in high school and middle school, I certainly was not the hardest working, most motivated student. Um, you know, I don't know how good of a job some of my teachers did to get me motivated. I definitely had some great teachers. I definitely had some less than stellar teachers as well. You know, by the time I got to college, you know, I, I think most things, you have to find some, your own motivation for things. You know, you can't expect everyone to do a song and a dance and make you love it. Um, but but is, it, is it an issue that just students are kind of um, apathetic and don't really care and don't, you know, don't want to think about it? So... Is it an issue of uninvolved parents? And, and certainly I think this has to play into it for sure as well. Um, you know, if you're, you know, if, if you're the child of a single parent and mom or dad's working all day, um, you know, certainly you don't have the luxury of two parents who are maybe or who are around and can either help you with your homework or at least get you motivated and to make sure, if nothing else, if not even motivated, at least they can maybe make sure that you're doing your homework. Um, so I don't know if that's the issue. Certainly it's got to play in there somewhere. Um, I'm of the belief that maybe we're teaching, you know, we're trying to cram a lot of math, certain types of math, uh, down people's throats that don't really need it. You know, I don't think every student in the country needs to see pre-calculus and calculus, you know. It really, 
it doesn't, I don't think it really matters. You know, if you have some ambitions to go on to do something in a science or, you know, engineering, you know, you've, you do need to take, you know, as much math as you can. It's a hard subject, and the more time you have to think about things, the better it is. But, you know, I think a lot of classes should be modified, and we should certainly make everybody take a class on just finances and percentages and interests and loans and, um, you know, so many people don't even understand about getting a car loan or a home loan, and, you know, you may not care now, but eventually these are things that are important, and, you know, people always say, when does this affect me? Well, certainly basic math affects you just about every day. Um, you know, it really does. You got, you know, you're, you're making sure you get the correct change, for example, um, but especially on bigger purchases. Um, is it an issue that we should make math more fun? And I think there's a bit of a, a bit of a trend lately to towards edutainment. And I don't, you know, I, you know, in my videos they're pretty cut and dry. You're never going to see me in a, a, a clown suit, you know, juggling, talking about math. Um, but certainly, you know, and that's that's not my purpose in my videos. But I think in a classroom setting, you know, you, you do want to motivate people, kind of get them interested. You know, if somebody's interested in something, they absorb certainly absorb it more. Um, you know, the things that we're interested in are the things that we retain, or at least we find some motivation. You know, if somebody's talking about factoring rational functions to find the domain, well, who cares, you know? I mean, why do I, why does that matter? And yes, you know, I think there is something to be said for you learn, you know, logic skills, problem-solving skills, um, and those are crucial. But again, you know, if that's the only argument, I think it's coming up a little bit short. Um, you know, I could sit here and talk about this for hours and hours and hours, and you don't want to hear that. So mainly what I want to hear is from you guys out there. Um, what do you think would improve things, you know? Um, what do you like about your classes? What do you like about your teachers? What do you not like about your classes? What do you not like about some of your teachers? You know, I definitely get a lot of comments all the time about, you know, how, how someone has a, a teacher that is just terrible or doesn't care, but again, you know, I think do you really think that um, do you really think that's the case? Um, you know, are you doing your homework? Are you showing up to class on time? Are you really putting forth an effort? Uh, you know, to me, when I was a teacher, if I had a student that was clearly not trying and complaining, you know, it, it kind of makes it makes it hard for the teacher to you know sort of be equally concerned. So, again. Just, just some of my thoughts. Um, it's a definitely a very complicated matter, and I don't think there's any overnight solution. But I think I was reading somewhere that we spend more money than any country on, you know, per capita, uh, uh, per student, and we're definitely in USA not ranked anywhere near the top in terms of math. You know, again, if you're from USA, I would love to hear your experience. Um, if you're outside of the USA. You know, what is it that you think you, you maybe uh, you guys are doing better than us? Or maybe you think, maybe I'm crazy. Maybe things in uh, the, the math education in USA is stellar, and um, there, there's no problem at all. But um, I don't quite believe that. So any comments are welcome. Video responses are more than welcome. Um, you know, again, this is something I'm, I'm very, very much interested in. You know, is is online education is that the trend of the future is that making things better um, who knows I don't know I want to know what you guys think I'm honestly genuinely very interested um, so so share you know don't just complain oh my teacher sucks and they shouldn't make us take math that's you know that doesn't really do anything constructive or help at all so if you have some ideas like I said I would love to hear them and um, honestly, I think some other people out there would as well.